Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and colleagues, it is a pleasure to join this event hosted by the London School of Economics to launch an eye-opening new publication, Stakeholder Engagement Through Economic Diplomacy, by Dr. Al Mashat. It comes at a moment of profound global upheaval, and we are just 10 years away from the ambitious target we set ourselves to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. This may seem like a short time, but I'm still hopeful for the future as more and more countries start to build forward better from this devastating global pandemic. However, countries working with the United Nations, with international financial institutions, with other multilateral stakeholders, with national and international private enterprises and with civil societies cannot afford to lose any more time. Sustainable development must be undertaken collaboratively, efficiently and urgently. And multilateral cooperation remains a vital instrument and complement to find shared solutions to global challenges. It is in this context that I would like to congratulate Dr. Al Mashad and her co-author on the launch of this new book. It offers a detailed account of Egypt's journey to put in place multilateral, multidisciplinary platforms. Such multi-stakeholder platforms can support governments worldwide to strengthen the alignment of national development plans, budgets and implementation systems with the SDGs. Indeed, financing the Sustainable Development Goals requires a closer examination of national operational and investment budgets as well as further streamlining of official development assistance. And the entire private sector should use the SDGs as a lens to make new investments. Moreover, consider the pioneering work of the UNDP Accelerator Labs. Now supporting 115 countries, it is the world's largest and fastest learning network on sustainable development challenges. Surfacing and scaling up homegrown innovations with local communities it is helping the United Nations to transition from project to portfolio approaches, which may be critical to brokering wider public-private collaborations that are also addressed in this book. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and colleagues, I look forward to hearing more about the lessons learned from Egypt's unique experiences in this vein. And I expect that this pertinent new publication will prompt much-needed discussion on how we can better leverage international cooperation to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals both far and wide, both globally and nationally. Thank you.